I know so many of you have been impatiently waiting, checking each video every week's newsletter to get any kind of news on that very first recording Authentic Sound is about to release. But today is the day that will make an end to that unbearable suffering. The presses in Harlem are working overtime to press our Pachelbel into a nice 180 gram vinyl disc. At MediaDub they are holding their finger to start the production of the twin CD production. The flags in 1644 and 2496 are even waiting for you today as are the MP4 high resolution video files launching to enlighten your black dark TV screens with some clavichord performances. So today is the day. The day to reserve your copy of the LP, CD or to even download right away one of the digital formats. Pre-sale will be until June 1st with the first LPs and CDs to be sent out first or second week of June. And there are some nice bonuses for you as a thank you for the pre-ordering already now by which you tremendously support this production. I'll talk about the bonuses later in this video. Let me give you first an overview of the production to give all of you a clear picture on what I'm talking about. Our channel gets dozens of new subscribers now every day, so let's make sure every one of you is updated. So for this recording, I have recorded the six arias of Johann Pachelbel's Hexacordum Apollinis, a work he published in 1699. It was dedicated to two musicians, of which Dietrich Buxtehude today is the most famous one. Pachelbel wrote in his preface that he hoped that his son would once study with the great Buxtehude, and we actually don't know if that ever happened. But what we do know is that few years later, another great name, that of Johann Sebastian Bach, paid a rather long visit to the Lübeck organist and no doubt that Hexacordon was put on the music stand and studied closely by both men in the long candle-lighted evenings. Returning to this production, some of you might remember that the initial plan was to have the big Bach partita serve as a first official lounge production of Authentic Sound. All six of them were recorded early in 2017 in several live sessions. We decided to shift that plan to the release of Pachelbel first for several reasons and the most important one obviously being the logistical size. One disc plus one CD, whereas the partitas will be four LPs and three CDs. There is more to it, but that's for another time. For the recordings we make, a fully restored Studer A80, one of the most famous tape recorders ever made, quartz driven, with Swiss precision is used. I'd love to talk extensively on why we undertook all the effort of driving several times to Switzerland for this machine, but let's keep that for another video. In this video, I would like to say just that it is like driving a Rolls Royce. I call it the Rolls Royce feeling. You want a little more or basically anything and that tape recorder seems to have always a free room for you. Hence the production of the LP, the vinyl discs, as a logical choice to become our flagship production. However, knowing that many of you still have their CD players as a centerpiece of your system, the CD gets the same attention as our vinyl discs. And to start with, for both formats, the covers are hand-designed by Shelby Lewis, an American professional trumpet player who also is a professional architect and photographer. And being a specialist on the Baroque trumpet as well, Shelby understood perfectly what we were doing here at Authentic Sound and so over the course of the last months he designed a completely new house style for our label with this cover as a first result. You're watching the vinyl cover right now. The CD cover is still, so to say, under construction, but will look similar as the LP, of course, with its own special requirements. Now, for the positioning of the microphones, one of the most essential parts of a recording, if not the most important one, we got the intense help of Robert Margulov. Robert, Grammy Award winning sound engineer and one of the most legendary sound engineers on, on this planet, is most known for the productions he made at the beginning of Stevie Wonder's career, reaching out to us with a helping hand and a listening ear and fine-tuned in over 30 sessions the Bloomline configuration we used to capture the Pachelbel. You will hear the clavichord as 
close to the original experience here and I'm sure you instantly hear the decades of experience Robert brought into this project. Okay, and now the big moment. How to reserve your copy. You'll find a link to the landing page or product page, if you will, in the description box or here in the, in the upper left hand corner. That link will take you to this page, where all information is bundled. So apart from all the digital formats available, the LP and CD come in a standard and in a limited version. All LPs and CDs, both standard and limited, will be hand numbered. On top of that, each LP will get a certificate plus the flag high resolution digital files as well. Now, the limited version on the LP will get a special certificate signed by me and dedicated to you as the buyer of the disc. The limited version of the CD gets a similar dedication written in the booklet. Prices for that are substantially higher, as you can easily imagine the amount of work it takes, but for the pre-sale period, all of that is given to you at the same price as the standard price. But please notice this, the number of personalized LPs or CDs is limited to 88, so disc number 11 to 99 only. And on top of that, you'll get a free download of Pachelbel's Chacon in F minor. It's a specially made recording for this release and will never be available anymore after pre-sale. For the die-hard collectors, we preserve disc number 1 to 10 that will get a thank you note as well as for number 1 to 3, one of the three test pressings of this recording. And to make sure to protect that unique disc, you'll get a second one for free as well as a free CD. And of course, for that price, you really would boost this production to a level that makes the Bach partitas come really close. So guys, to end this video, I again have to thank you, you all, for being part of this journey. You as a viewer, sometimes reaching out to me in the comment section. You as one of the almost 60 patrons Authentic Sound currently has. You are the ones who made this possible, who pushed us so far over countless difficulties and challenges that we faced. That sounds a bit weird perhaps, but during some of the pullback moments Anya and I had over the past months, coffee breaks, if you will, we looked back at our journey of the last four years, seeing more precisely actually feeling the amount of energy and time that went into everything connected to authentic sound. But the answer why we did this, what pushed us to this moment and what will keep us going simply is the idea of being blessed to be able to serve you. Serve you as a listener, as a music lover, as a musician, be of inspiration even, open new perspectives, and by doing so, we walk side by side this exciting road of constant discovery. I point to some things, you point back, and so we take each other further into this exciting world of music, from Bach to Beethoven and beyond. Whereas I sincerely hope lots and lots of beautiful moments are waiting for us to be seen, to be discovered, to be heard. So, thank you. And see you soon again. Bye.